cats just used to curb me, now they wanna have sex, goddamn I'm just getting started, fuck with the kid like you're getting carded Yeah, my bitch, they go the hardest, they go the hardest Big bang like when the universe started I'm just blowing off steam, I feel like I'm kibble I'm about to blow up, I feel like she got to Hey, Zay here, back with another video This is a GFX tutorial today Let's get into it, so you gotta have your backgrounds first, as you can see. See this, I just make them like proper size, like equal to each other, like where the characters look the same size. It's a rebound, this is for Trap Low, so this thumbnail. And look, so what you're gonna wanna do is put it on these settings for the eraser. So it's like halfways and it fades in together like that. I think I go back, yeah, I go back and remove the player, as you guys can see. And so now I think, yeah, it's time to add this overlay on I mean, the my player. So yeah, so you put the my player centered. It's kind of hard to because it's a slanted my player. So I just put it right there. I rush, I kind of rushed this thumbnail because it's a tutorial. It doesn't got to be the best it's for you guys. Look, then this overlay you add, it's a really good one. So you add it and you get emojis like text and then you put an emoji then you move it under the layer like that duplicate it under the layer just keep doing it till you have them all covered and look this last little one you may not see it but you, it's still there so yeah all detail matters so next thing yeah see so this is the final overlay i'll put the gfx packs in the description put this on screen if it comes out black for you like it came out for me Put it over, adjust, and then you want to change the saturation to max and the hue to whatever color you know your thumbnail is. You can change the brightness if you want. I, I think I put mine down usually because it's too bright, too intense. And see, I'm gonna make it bigger so like you know I can have the other other overlay show with the circles. And then there that is. So next, add the picture again. Save the picture and re-add it over it. Put the correct size or a little bigger and then put put it on hard light. And put the opacity down to either, I put it either down to 20 or 30 always. It just makes it look better. And then you adjust it, saturation and all that. You see what I'm doing? I zoom, I, I mean, I sped up this part. So yeah, see, make it look all good like this. Apply. I, I'm gonna add a little filter on now. Noise makes it look just better overall more retro like and yeah so final filter yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a thumbnail video I haven't uploaded one of these in a while hope it helps i'm out